हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टेक गुरु प्लीज क्लिक ऑन द लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब बटन स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट इनपुट एंड आउटपुट डिवाइसेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेल मी डू यू नो हाउ कंप्यूटर वर्क्स मैम कंप्यूटर वर्क ऑन इनपुट प्रोसेस एंड आउटपुट साइकिल यू आर राइट कंप्यूटर वर्क ऑन इनपुट प्रोसेस आउटपुट साइकिल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी गिव सम इनपुट कंप्यूटर प्रोसेस इज द इनपुट एंड देन गिव द आउटपुट बट स्टूडेंट्स डू यू नो हाउ कैन वी गिव इनपुट टू अवर कंप्यूटर मैम वी कैन गिव इनपुट विथ की बोर्ड एंड माउस यस students devices used to give input are called input devices now we will learn about these devices one by one first is keyboard keyboard has different buttons on it these buttons are known as keys it allows us to type letters numbers and other symbols it is the most used input device keyboard has different types of keys it has 26 alphabet keys from a to z first row has q w e r t y u i o p that's why these keyboards are also called qwerty keyboard next numeric keys there are 0 to 9 numeric keys function keys there are 12 function keys from f1 to f12 at the top of the keyboard each function key has a different job arrow keys computer also has four arrow keys next other keys there are so many other keys available on the keyboard like alt control tab enter and space bar all these keys have different functionalities ma'am we can type our name phone number and other details with the help of keyboard yes you can type any information using keyboard Let us see the next input device it's mouse mouse is a pointing device it is used to select something every mouse has two buttons and one scroll wheel when we move mouse on a flat surface then mouse pointer moves with it ma'am my father has laptop but it doesn't have a mouse i don't know how to work on it Laptop has a touchpad mouse. When we move finger on it, then it works. It also has left and right buttons. If we want, we can also plug the simple mouse with the laptop. Ma'am, do we have only two input devices? No, we have other input devices also. Let's see. Scanner. It is an input device that scans documents and pictures and transfer it to the computer. children i hope all of you have seen photocopy machine as photocopy machine creates copy of the document scanner creates the electronic copy of the document that can be viewed on the computer right students when you go to shopping mall at the billing counter a person uses a device to scan the barcode at every item to get its detail that device is a barcode scanner Yes ma'am my papa told me that this device is used to read the barcode and helps to calculate the bill i saw a red light in this device very good now let's study about microphone it is used to record our voice on a computer it is also known as mic students next is digital camera it is also called digicam It is used to capture and store photographs electronically in computer. Earlier photographers used to click photos in a simple camera having film roll. Then they develop photos from it. But now with the help of digital camera they can click the photographs, transfer it to computer and then print it very easily. Ma'am, we have digital camera at home. It helps us to click the photographs. Then we see the photographs on laptop or computer. Yes, you are right. Now next input device is joystick. It is used to play computer games. It is used to control different movements in a game. Ma'am, I play computer kart racing game with it. 
Okay, students, next is touch screen. It is an input device through which data is entered by simply touching the screen. Our finger act as the pointing device. Students, have you seen touch screen? Yes, ma'am. Mobile phones and tablet PC have touch screen. You are absolutely right, children. Quickly tell me the names of all the input devices that we have studied now. Keyboard, mouse, scanner, microphone, digital camera, joystick and touch screen. Let's study about output devices. Any hardware component that shows you result is called an output device. Students, monitor is the most popularly used output device. It looks like a television screen. Yes ma'am, we can watch movies, pictures, cartoons and text on the monitor screen. Next output device is printer. It is used to get the output on a paper. Students, scanner converts hard copy into soft copy. But printer converts soft copy into hard copy. Soft copy is on computer that you can see but you cannot touch it. And hard copy is on the paper. You can touch it. Ma'am, we have printer at home. We print worksheets on it. We can also print any photograph or any file. Students, book, bills, worksheets, posters, all are printed using printers. Now, let's see next output device. It's speaker. It produces sounds. Ma'am, we have speaker at home. We listen songs on it. But ma'am, we don't have any speaker with our laptop, but still we listen songs in it. How is it possible? Laptops have inbuilt speaker in it. We cannot see it, but we can listen to it. So students, today we studied about input and output devices. Keyboard, mouse, scanner, microphone, digital camera, joystick and touch screen. These are the input devices. Monitor, printer and speaker are the output devices. Students, these input and output devices are also called peripheral devices. So that's it for today's session. Thank you.